Technology is... It's infinite. You can do whatever you want with it. It is a vital tool for all and definitely can be used for like just about anything nowadays. Technology is amazing. Technology is life. It helps us become smarter and it makes a lot of things easier. A revolutionary way to change the world. Technology is a big upgrade than it was. You know, computers now are awesome, but back then they were like taking up a whole room and it's like confusing. You're like, switch, whoa, okay. Interesting. It's very interesting and it's lots of fun. What I like about using technology today is that it can prepare me for the future and that it makes things I do more efficient. Well, I think any use of technology is going to make our kids future ready. Technology is increasing, you know, at a breakneck pace. They're going to have to be able to keep up and be exposed constantly to all the different types of new technology that's going to come out. And so starting young, they're going to see it as commonplace as opposed to being introduced to it brand new later on. In my audio video class, we use technology from filming videos to editing them. Uh, additionally, I have uh, engineering design, which I use to code different robots that I'd be making. When I first learned volume, it was pretty tricky. So um, I went to this website called Study Jams and I watched a video on it. Cause like I didn't get the base times height. I didn't know what base was. And Study Jams taught me what base was. I think it's important to use the computers and pads at our age because we can learn how to use them later on in life. So later on in life we don't, we're not like, how do we use this? How can I look this up? We do a lot of research and stuff on computers. We have a book club where we read a book and then at the end we make an iMovie. Go math, those videos with that guy, he always helps me because I didn't know how to do like, I think it was division and I didn't know how to do it, like move it down and stuff. So when I watched the video, it helped me and I, and I learned how to do it. Technology has actually been a lifesaver with my kids and their extracurricular activities. So when they're out, they can still be part of the classroom learning because it's all on the computer and it can be accessed from anywhere. I truly think that it makes learning more engaging for the kids and it just, it opens the door to so much more. Access to more technology will allow my students to create everything, anything they can dream of, all of the things. They already think outside the box and they have the idea that we see a problem, we can use technology to solve it, and they make it happen. NRH2O is a community family water park um, that pretty much everyone here goes to. It's the biggest thing during the summer. Um, and we were given the opportunity to renovate or add our own ideas to the park. So they kind of wanted our feedback because of course we go there every summer, uh, how to make the park better, bigger. Like a type of styles, rides, and just what appeals to us. Luckily at this campus, we had the new technology to help us get this project done. We did have to use the internet to, of course, to look up the rides, the lengths, the measurements, and things like that. And we used Google Classroom and Tinkercad, which is a 3D building site, to uh, build our park and get more information so we can use things like factoring and multiplication, division. I created all the measurements for the rides, that were, the three new rides that we were going to do, and I also uh, created the cost. I did a lot of 3D printing, which was uh, printing the models and some of the modifications to the part. With Tinkercad and 3D modeling programs, it allows you to go in-depth 3D-wise and actually design and make it to where people can easily see how it is. So what I ended up doing is I ended up using one of our newer 3D printers. I ended up printing a model of one of our um, pools that we decided to redo because we took Beachside Bay and we made an extension piece for it. I'm really glad I did the NRH2O project because it really helped us collaborate and come together as North Richland Hills as a, like, a whole. I like this project because it gave us real world experience or practice for us in school and that's just gonna help me a lot for my future. Our NRH2O PBL allowed students to take the learning within our classroom and apply it to a real world situation and to have that ability to allow their voice to be heard 
they worked on it for about two weeks and then we presented to the, our panel judges. The technology definitely opened the doors to where they realize the world awaits them and there's opportunities out there that are waiting for their creative thinking and problem solving skills. I created this tuner holder. So my design of the tuner holder is going to provide easy access to just keep the tuners where they are and easy access to flip through your binders and go through all of your music and not have that in the way of your music and you could still use it. I use Tinkercad to do this which pretty much is you could make your own ideas and then you could send it to this printer. This is really just the startup of how we can use our everyday problems and just solve them using this new technology.